find your easy pose, Sukhasana, and sit up nice and tall. Give you a moment to settle in, ground in through the sit bones, lengthen the spine from the tail all the way to the top of the head. Imagine a string tied to the top of the head, reaching up and pulling you up toward the sky. Roll the shoulders up toward the ears, send them down the back. Get active here. Draw the elbows into the side body, then let the hands fall. Pull the belly button into the spine. Let the heart space lift. Retract the chin a little bit. Stack head over heart, heart over pelvis. And begin to breathe. Take a big breath in through the nose and let it go through the mouth. into your Ujjayi breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, beginning to relax and release the knees and the hips, let the shoulders fall down, nice deep breaths filling the lungs all the way to the top, eyes are closed, or if you prefer to gaze at the beautiful ocean, you may do that as well, your choice, fill the lungs all the way to the top, Maybe pause a second at the top of your breath and on your exhale, all the air comes out and the bottom draw the belly button into the spine, engage through the core. And really begin to focus on the breath. Maybe setting an intention for class today. A thought, a word, a prayer for you, or sending it out to someone else that you care for or love. Gathering all the positive energy that you can this morning. Pulling it into your heart, and maybe sharing and sending some of that out to people who may really need it right now. focus today as we move through our flow is strength combined with calm. So we're going to use the breath as we move, breath to movement. A couple more breaths here. After your exhale, gently open the eyes. Take a big inhale all the way to the top with the palms meet. Rain it back down. We're going to take this right to a twist. Inhale all the way to the top. Left hand comes behind. Right hand comes up and over the knee. Take a big inhale to lengthen the spine. On your exhale, twist. And on your next inhale, come back through center. Arms come up, palms touch. On your exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale and twist. On your next inhale, come back through center. And we'll take it to a little quicker flow. On your exhale, twist. Inhale back through center. Exhale and twist. Inhale, come on up. Exhale and twist. Back to the top. And twist. On your next inhale, come on up to the top. On your exhale, send the hands to heart center. We'll take the legs out long in front of us. Release the hands, shake out the legs. And find staff pose. Roll the shoulders back. Pull the belly in. Sit up nice and tall. Hands can rest on the thighs, or if you'd like to bring the hands to the earth, gathering some energy from the earth. Breathe nice and deep. And let's contract the quads and lift the heels. The feet are flexed. On an exhale, release the heels, shake it out, and take the legs wide. 
ground in with the sit bones. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. On your exhale, come forward, hinge at the hips, walk the fingertips forward, reach long through the crown of the head and the spine. On your exhale, drop the hands, fall in. Nice, gentle, wide-legged stretch today. Don't worry about getting crazy length. It's early, stiff from sleeping. Maybe some of us are sleeping a little bit more. Maybe we're sleeping a little less. Maybe you're not moving quite as much as you did. So just take it easy. Honor the body. Feel what's going on. Two more nice deep breaths. Press it back to a seat. Beautiful. Bring the legs back together. We're actually just going to come to all fours. We'll find cat cow. So the palms are going to come under the shoulders. Knees under the hips. Tuck the toes. Get engaged. Pull the belly in. Find the tabletop. Take a nice deep breath. Find a couple cat cow stretches. Inhale as you look up. Exhale, round, press away from the earth. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat. Keep control of the abdominal muscles as you move through cat and cow. So a gentle cinching in the waist, drawing belly button to spine. You don't have to be crazy engaged, just be aware. After your next exhale, come on back to tabletop. Start you out with a child's pose. Take the knees wide or keep them together if you prefer. Bring the toes to touch. Press the hips back to the heels. Walk the hands out. Get nice and engaged. Start to melt the chest, the chin, and the forehead toward the earth. Breathe nice and deep. Full belly breaths. Fill the lungs all the way. Feel the belly grow, belly grow big. Feel the lower back expand on your in breath. And relax through the hips on your out breath. Two more big breaths. up slightly. Let's walk the hands over to your left. On your next inhale, look up slightly and walk the hands over to your right. center and take one more breath and extend in child's pose. Slowly begin to look up, walk your hands back under your shoulders, knees back under the hips. Take a big inhale, a couple cat-cow stretches. So start with the right hand. Right hand reaches up in front. Take the left leg back. Lengthen. Press back through the heel before we lift. And feel that nice big stretch along the back side of the leg. Right arm is lifting up toward the ear. Crown of the head is reaching long. Balanced with the spine. 
Take an inhale and lift that heel and engage through the glute. On an exhale, drop it down. Everything comes back to the air. Take it to the other side. Left arm lifts, thumb up, pinky down. Right leg extends behind you, toes stay on the sand. Press back through the heel. Find that big stretch. Press away from the mat with the right hand. Finding space between the shoulders and the ears. Back through center, get balanced, and we're going to lift that right heel. Big breath in. Exhale, return, hand and knee to the earth. And let's take it to a nice flow. Right hand, right arm lift, left leg lifts. Exhale, return to the earth. Inhale, left arm, right leg. And find a flow that matches your breath. Nice deep breath in and out. Meet you in tabletop if you need a cat cow stretch or two here. Thumb. And we're going to move along and move right into our first downward facing dog. Toes. Spread the fingers wide. Press into the earth with the palms. Lift the hips high. Drop the head low. Keep the knees bent. Pedal the feet. Reminder, you're on a slope. Right? So make whatever adjustments you need to make. If this down dog doesn't feel absolutely balanced or wonderful, you can turn on your mat. You guys are listen used to listening to my voice. It'll be fine if you turn. Just find comfort. Two more breaths. Find stillness. And on an inhale, take a peek up at those hands and take a slow walk to meet them. Rolling up to the fingertips. Find a flat back, pressing up to the fingertips. On your exhale, fold. Inhale to tall mount. All the way up. Exhale, fold. Swan dive. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, tall mountain. Swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift. And fold. Tall mountain all the way up. Keep going. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. You look beautiful. Halfway lift. Fold it down. And then all the way up. Let the palms meet at the top on your exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. Soften the knees. Fold it on down. Let the fingertips dangle. Bend the knees generously. Torso on the thighs. Hang out in ragdoll here if you'd like for a moment. You can sway side to side or take opposite hand to opposite elbow. Whatever works. Stillness works. Sway. As long as you're comfortable. All the way to the upper body rests on your nice, strong thighs. Come to stillness with everything dangling. And with everything dangling, use the power from your feet and the energy from the earth to begin to slowly roll it up to a stand. And we'll come into mountain pose. Palms facing forward. Take a moment. Breathe. Stack, head over heart. Leave the heart space. Take a moment to tap out everything other than those things that you feel in this moment. What outside forces can you feel? Feel the way the wind feels on your forearm. shoulders. It brushes your neck and your face. With every exhale, think I am calm. I am grounded. I am strong. I am patient. If 
three more breaths. After your next exhale, open your eyes, and we're going to start to move. Take a big inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold, plant the palms, step it back, your choice to plank or down dog. We're all going to meet in down dog. Your plank can be higher, whatever you'd like, and we'll lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to mini cobra, release the toes, exhale, downward facing dog. Tummy space in the sand. If you're not comfortable facing down toward the water, make a turn. On an inhale, take a look at the hands. Take a walk to meet them. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale all the way to the top, tall mountain. Swan dive, forward fold. That's it. I see some of you guys facing the dunes. That's a good idea. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Plant the palm, step it back to plank or down dog, your choice. Take vinyasa or meet us in down dog. One breath in down dog. Inhale, take a peek forward. Step, hop, or jump to meet your hands. Exhale and fold. Inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold it down. Plant the palms. You got this. Your choice. Down dog or vinyasa here. Meeting in down dog. One breath. Two more. Take a peek at the hands. Walk, step, or jump to meet them. Exhale and fold. Tall mountain on your in-breath. Swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Plant the palm, step it back. And then find your way back to downward facing dog. Let's go one more time. Now look forward, walk, step, or jump. Exhale and fold. Tall mountain. Swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift. Fold. And one last time. Down dog. Nasa through chaturanga. Cobra. And down dog. Pedal the feet, take a breath. Alrighty, here we go. Starting on the left side. Left leg lifts. Hug the knee into the chest on your out breath. Shift the weight forward. Step through the hands. We're coming right up, warrior one. On your exhale, turn it open, warrior two. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, flip the palm, send it back, reverse warrior. Come back through warrior two. Take your modified side angle. Bend the front arm, place it on the front leg, reach to the sky, then reach up and over the head for a nice long side body stretch. Back through warrior two. Take a reverse warrior. Cartwheel the hands to the front. Frame the front foot, pyramid pose. Hop up with the back foot to make it a little more comfortable. Nice big stretch, maybe bow nose to knee. Inhale, press up to the fingertips. Step up to meet the left foot. Bring the fingertips in front of the toes, six or eight inches. Shift all the weight to the right foot. And we're gonna find standing splits. 
So from the fingertips, we're going to lift that left leg behind us. Beautiful. Hold here. Maybe pulse. Engaging the glute, pulsing heel to the sky. Straightening through the right leg as much as is comfortable. And maybe taking a bow, nose toward the knee. More big breath in. On your exhale, drop the left foot next to the right. Coming right up to chair pose. On your exhale, sweep the arms back. Lift to the toes. Drop the heels. We're coming all the way up. Interlace the fingers. Press up to the sky. Side bend to your right. Inhale back to the top. Side bend to your left. One more on each side. Side bend right. Back to the top. Side bend left. On your exhale, release the hands to the sides. And then take a big breath all the way to the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring the thumbs to the heart space. Roll the shoulders toward the ears and then send them down the back. So relax the shoulders. Close the eyes. Breathe. Take another moment. Find your breath. When you found the nice, steady, strong breath, remind yourself on your exhales. I am calm. I am strong. I am patient. more breaths. Gently open the eyes and we're going to take this to the other side. Take a big inhale all the way to the top. Swan dive forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Plant the palms. Step it back to plank. We can move through a vinyasa here or go right to down dog. We'll take this to the other side on the right. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through the hands. Come all the way up. Warrior one. Morning, good morning. Exhale, turn it open, warrior. Good job, good job. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, flip the palm, send it back, reverse warrior. Come back through warrior two. Unmodified side angle, bend the right arm, place it on the right leg, reach up to the sky, and then overhead, find that big side body stretch. Come back through warrior two. Take one more reverse warrior. Cartwheel the hands to the front. Find pyramid pose on the right. Step up with that back foot. Maybe bow nose to knee. On your next inhale, press up to the fingertips. Turn the back toes. Um, I think we went to our splits here. If not, that's where we're going. Coming right into standing splits, bring all the weight over the right ankle. Walk the fingertips forward. Lift the back leg. Flex the foot, toes to the earth. Maybe find a pulse here if it feels okay. Pulsing left heel to the sky. Oh, and you know what I did? Wrong leg. Big inhale on your exhale. Drop the left foot next to the right. Shift the weight to the left. And we'll take it with the right leg. Right leg is going to lift behind you. That means we need to do an extra couple pulses on the right. Pulse right heel to the sky. Maybe drop nose to knee here. You can hold in stillness if you'd like. Your choice. Breathe. Two 
Summer Birds. On your exhale, drop right foot next to left and come on up to chair pose. Shift the arms behind you, lift to the balls of the heels, drop the heels, rise all the way up, interlace the fingers, press to the sky, side bend right. Back to the top, side bend left. Back to the top, one more each side. Reach back up to the top, press up to the sky one last time and then release the hands. We're gonna bring the hands behind the back. Interlace the fingers, press down toward the earth. Squeeze the shoulder blades toward one another. Lift the heart space. Shoulder blades roll up and down the back. Tuck the tailbone. Find that beautiful opening in the chest. One more big breath in. On your exhale, soften the knees, fold it down. You can come to a halfway lift or a full fold, your choice. Inhale, soften the knees, and we rise back up. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, soften and fold. This time, release the hands. Bring the fingertips to the earth. Heel toe, the feet wide on the mat. Whatever wide is to you, we're finding a wide-legged forward fold. Up to the fingertips, soften the knees, big breath in, reach long through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold it on down. On your inhale, press back up to the fingertips. Nice, on your exhale, fold it back down. This time in wide-legged fold, you can find any position for the hands that you'd like. If you want to grab with the peace fingers, you can grab the big toes. You can wrap the hands around the back of the feet and grab the heels. Careful, watch your balance. You can walk the hands behind you, fingertips facing the dunes. Well, unless you're not in the same direction I am, I guess, huh? Just breathe. One more breath. And then walk the hands back front. Take a big inhale, press up to the fingertips. Heel toe the feet in just a little bit so they're outside the shoulders or outside the hips. So not as wide. Pull the belly in, bring the hands to the hips, come to a stand. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna squat down, prayer squat. Come on back up. Reach it out, five-pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat, hands to heart center. Back to the top, reach it up, five-pointed star. Really reach, spread the fingers. Exhale, hands to heart center. Drop it down, prayer squat. Beautiful, a couple more times. Inhale, come back to the top, five-pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat. Back to the top. And prayer squat. Stay in your prayer squat. I want you to take your hands to your thighs. We're going to just do a little shoulder dip here. Starting on the left. Take the left shoulder. We're going to dip it down toward the front. You're twisting to your right. Inhale. Bring it back to center. On your exhale, dip the right shoulder. Twist to the left. Back to the top. couple more twists. Take it to the left. Dip the shoulder and twist. Back to the top. Dip the shoulder and twist. Come on back through center. We're going to rise right up to a stand. Roll the shoulders back. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, prayer squat. One more time. Back to the top. Five-pointed star on your exhale. Arms come to a T. 
Palms face down. Release the shoulders. Nice. Relax a little bit. Stay engaged. Big breath in. On your exhale, soften the knees. Come to a flat back. Find length in the spine. Reach long through the crown of the head. You're looking down the bridge of your nose. Knees are soft, not locked. Take an inhale. Bring the hands in front of you. So over top of your head, press the palms together. One big breath. Exhale, flop it down into wide-legged ragdoll. Find movement if you like. Breathe. Come to stillness, back through center, press up to the fingertips. Bring the hands to the hips. Slowly rise to a stand. Beautiful. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then heel toe the feet back together. Take a moment. Bring the hands to heart center. Tap into the breath. Eyes are open or closed. If you're gazing at the ocean, maybe pay attention to the ebb and flow of the waves. Maybe the birds playing on the water. Pups walking by. Glorious morning for a walk. Good morning. And then ground in, tap in to your thoughts. Maybe now close your eyes. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, think to yourself, I am grounded. Inhale. Exhale, I am safe. Exhale, I am healthy. One more time, take a big inhale. Exhale, I am strong. Gently open the eyes. Ah, arms right up overhead, come right to chair pose. That's why I ended with strong. Right, nice and strong. Lift the toes. Big inhale. On your exhale, hands come to heart center. Twist to the left. Just a little twist. Maybe tap the knee. Inhale. Come back through center. On your exhale, twist to the right. Maybe tap the knee with the elbow. Back through center. And twist it again to the left. Back through center. One last twist. Back through center, rise all the way up to a stand. Roll the shoulders up toward the ears, send them down the back, relax. Breathe. Two breaths. Gently open the eyes. Bring the arms to your sides, mountain pose. Chest shift forward, step through the hands, come to warrior two. Beautiful, gaze at the front fingertips. One more breath. Right in the front leg. Try and pose. Sorry, my mic's I'll drop the left hand to the left leg. Reach tall to the sky with the right fingertips. Open the right side body. Open, open, open. Breathe. Pull the belly in. Open the right hip. Nice. Soften the front knee. We're going to come back to warrior two. Straight in that left knee again. We're going to take reverse triangle. Right hand to the back leg. Reach up with the left arm. Reach 
Reach her up and back. Up through warrior two arms. Take it right back, triangle. Drop the left hand. Reach up to the sky with the right. Come back to the top. Warrior two arms. Right to reverse triangle. Right hand to right leg. Back through warrior two arms. One more triangle. Left hand to left leg. Reach it up with the right. Big inhale here. Exhale, turn to your left, drop the right hand, frame the front foot, find pyramid pose on the left. Drop nose toward knee. On an inhale, press to the fingertips, plant the palms. You're going to have to soften that front knee and slide that left foot back, downward facing. One more breath. On the right side, inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, hug the knee to the chest, step through the hands. Right warrior two. One more breath. Straighten the front leg, come into triangle on the other side. Shift forward and then drop the right hand. Open the left side body, reach for the sky. Maybe gaze up at those fingertips. Watch your balance. One more breath. Soften that front knee a little bit. Come back to warrior two arms. Nice. Straighten the front leg. Take it to reverse triangle. Back through warrior two arms. Soften the knee a little. Never lock out that knee. And we're going to come to triangle again. We'll find a little flow here. Reach to the sky with the left fingertips. Come on back. Warrior two arms and then right to reverse triangle. Back to the top. Triangle to the front. Back through warrior two arms. And we'll cartwheel the hands to the front. Frame the front. Find pyramid pose on your right. Drop nose to knee if it feels good. Hop up with the back leg if you need to. Take one more breath. Press up to the fingertips. Step back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet. Spread the fingers wide. Fingers spread wide. Even pressure through the palms, pressing into the earth and pressing the torso back toward the thighs. Think about the tailbone lifting just a little bit more. So the tailbone lifts up toward the sky as you press back, creating that beautiful inverted V shape. You guys are absolutely awesome. You look amazing. Super strong. One more breath. Begin to look up at your hands. We're going to shift forward to plank. On an exhale, shift back up, downward facing dog. Press into the earth. Find that energy. And shift forward to plank. You guys are getting a good workout today. Press back, facing dog. Shift to plank one last time. Hold for three, two, one. Drop the knees, release the toes. Lower down however you'd like to get to the earth. Take the elbows out wide. Stack your hands or your fists. Rest your forehead. Open the legs a little bit so you can rock left to right hip. Just loosen up a little bit. Release the toes. Relax the shoulders. Finding your ground and your comfort again. Take a big breath in through the nose and let it all go through the mouth. Beautiful. Find your Ujjayi breath again. 
top end and breathe. I am calm. I am healthy. I am strong. And I am grounded. up and come on all the way up to tabletop. Take a cat cow stretch or two here. If you need, you can untuck the toes. Just find your comfort. If you want to drop the hips from side to side here, that feels really good, especially right about now. After the work you just put in, dropping the hips here will feel yummy. Come back for center. Walk yourself up to a kneel, and we're going to step forward with the left foot. Walk your left foot forward. Start to come down into this right side here. Feel that nice big stretch in the right side body of the front leg into the psoas. Take a big inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. We're just going to hang out here just for a moment. You can tuck the back toes if you need more balance. One more breath. Big breath in. Reach up to the top. Crescent moon. On your exhale, we're going to frame the front foot. Draw the right hip back over the right knee and start to straighten that left leg. Drop the nose toward the knee. Big stretch on the left side. Inhale. Press to the fingertips. Pull through with the heart space. Bend the left knee. Rise back up. Reach to the sky. Exhale, frame the front foot, straighten the front leg, hip over the knee on the right, maybe bow. Two more times. Inhale, we rise up, drop that right hip, big stretch. Exhale, release, straighten that left leg, drop the head. One more, rise up. This time, maybe rise up and maybe a little back bend. Maybe bring the palms together and interlace the fingers all but the forefinger and the thumb. I call this the Charlie's Angels Mudra. Right? Pew, pew. Big inhale. Exhale. Release. Walk that left leg. Knee under the hip. Cat-cow stretch if you need it, as always. And then walk yourself back to a kneel. We're going to take the right leg to the front. Right foot stamps in front of you. And then we'll walk it forward until you find that big stretch in the front and left groin. Big inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hold here, ground in. Tuck the toes in the back if you need to. If you need more balance, you can walk that right foot over a little bit. That'll help you to balance. Breathe. After your next exhale, release the hands. And then take an inhale. Come on all the way up to the top. Exhale. We'll take those hands to frame the front foot. Same thing. Draw the left hip over the left knee. Straight through the right leg. Maybe as an option, drop nose towards knee. Inhale, bend the front leg, start to rise back up, fall into that left hip, arms reach for the sky. Exhale, frame the front foot, straighten that leg. Two more. Inhale, rise up, crescent moon. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, rise up. And we're going to hold it here in crescent moon. 
Bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, except for finger and thumb. One more time, you get to go pew pew, Charlie's Angels Mudra, reach it up, point to the sky, maybe a little back bend, maybe we look up at the sun. If you have sunglasses. Otherwise, close your eyes. Big inhale. Exhale, release. Hands come to the earth. Come back to tabletop. Cat cow stretch or two here. And then take the knees wide. Bring the toes to touch. Press it back, child's pose. Your version of child's pose here. Get relaxed if you want to take the toes out. Sides, you may. Stack the hands. Stack the fists. Settle in, get comfy. Relax, release. Enjoy for a moment. You are ready. Take your time. Start to walk the hands back toward the body. Come up to tabletop. Cross the ankles. And then we'll find our way to a seat. I am going to turn to the side because the last time I put my feet up the mountain, I felt like I was going down there. Stretch the legs long. Find staff pose. We're not going to engage lift the heels this time. Just find staff pose. Sit up nice and tall. Pull the belly in. Roll the shoulders back and down. Maybe close the eyes. Take two breaths here. if they're closed. We're going to draw the left leg in toward the chest, or if you'd like, you have an option here to cross over. We're going to take it to a twist. Sit up nice and tall, maybe interlace the fingers, bring them below the knee. Sit up tall, lift up tall through the heart space. We're going to reach behind you with the left hand, reach up to the sky with the right, and on an exhale, twist. Find whatever feels comfortable and yummy right now. Just remember on your inhales, you're lengthening the spine, and on your exhales, we're softening into the twist. Maybe look behind you. Big breath in and out. On your next exhale, release from the twist. And take it to the other side. Bring the other knee in, or over. Interlace the fingers under the knee, and then find a nice tall seat, lifting through the heart space. Get grounded. And here we go. Reach behind you with the right hand. Reach up to the sky with the left. And come on over that knee. Don't place it on the knee, right? Below the kneecap. Take a big inhale. Exhale and twist. On your exhale, release from the twist, release your leg, shake the legs out, scoot to the front of your mat. I'm going to bring you down to your back, so keep behind you, make sure you have plenty of room to lie back, make sure you're not laying in a pile of sand, we had pretty good luck with the sand today, I think. 
and we're going to come on right down to our backs. But let's take it down and engage. Sit up nice and tall, knees up. Bring the hands out in front, palms face up, lift the heart space, engage. Lean back a little, find your shake. Two big breaths. Pull the belly in. Nice, release the hands behind the legs. Open the shoulders a little, start to tuck the chin, round the back out, bring the knees with you as you roll to your back. Give yourselves a nice big hug. You deserve it. Rock side to side. Find whatever organic movement here works. Your choice, whatever. If you want to take happy baby, if you want to open the knees a little and take some circles. Feels good on the lower back, especially on the harder sand. Your choice. Whatever works. Just take, take a couple breaths. Come back to stillness. Give yourselves one more big hug and a squeeze. On your exhale, release the legs long. We're coming into Shavasana. So your choice for some to plant the feet with the knees up. And if you're doing that to bring the back to the earth, Heel toe the feet out a little bit. Let the knees fall into the center so you don't have to worry about holding them up. No engagement right now. Or take the legs long. Walk out wide. Let the toes fall open. I roll the shoulders down. Eyes closed. Big breath in through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. to release the entire body from the toes all the way up the inside the outside of the foot through the back of the leg the front of the leg release your breath nice natural breath now spine releasing and falling into the earth one vertebra at a time. Maybe one last time we roll the shoulders toward the ears and let them fall to the earth. Open those arms up a little bit and then release from the bicep all the way down the arm. Biceps, triceps, forearms, the palm, the back of the hand, loosen the fingers. neck is soft, the head is soft, no tension in the face, release the forehead, maybe release the jaw, part the lips, relax and enjoy, take a few moments to yourself.
begin to wiggle the fingers and toes. Maybe roll through the ankles and the wrists. Find some softness and softness in movement, allowing the body to come back. And when you are ready, draw your knees towards your chest and we're going to roll to one side. Maybe draw the arm up under the ear for a pillow. Slowly transition. Take your time. Keep the eyes closed if you can. Take two more breaths here. absolutely ready in your own time. Try to keep the eyes closed. Stay in tune to what's going on in your space only and begin to press yourself back to a seat. Gently open the eyes. Welcome back. Take a big inhale all the way to the top. Palms touch. Exhale, release. One last time. Inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, hands to heart center in prayer. And as you, my friends, go forward today, may you be grounded. May you be safe. May you have health. Have calm in your thoughts, your words, and in your heart. From my heart to yours, as always. Amazing class. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of this movement and this journey. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy the weather. Namaste. Do you feel good? Yeah. Good. I think we had some good luck with the sand today. Happy! Right? Are we happy? Yeah. Yes? Okay, good. We're learning new things, aren't we? We are. We're learning new things, and I just know already um, in the past two weeks, from, from the day one of this whole thing to now, I know for a fact that I am growing, and I am a better person. For this. So find that. If you haven't found that in yourself, go out of here today, go home, and tell yourself you're going to find that. Right? Because this is going to create amazing growth. What was the quote I saw on Facebook? Uh, absurd times um, create a need for an absurd amount of love. Right? Yeah. That's where we're going forward with, right? Lots of love. All right, you guys, have a fantastic day, right? Get outside. Keep your distance, but get outside. I love you guys. Have a good one.